It is the 8th of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. Uh, EarthChangesScott.net 6.9 magnitude earthquake strikes seafloor northeast of Taiwan. And uh, no, no tsunami alerts on that one. Uh, Oklahoma's nightmare continues. State shaken by strong 4.7 magnitude earthquake. Uh, this is another aftershock. And uh, if you're watching, there are 30, 40 aftershocks going on. Um, it's almost gearing up like it's a big major one right before Japan went off big. Uh, they had all those quakes, 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 big quake uh, up here before a big quake there. Uh, more than 500 people die in Thai floods. Uh, the death toll from Thailand's worst floods in decades jumped above 500 on Sunday as seemingly unstoppable waters crept deeper into Bangkok, swamping main roads and threatening the city's center. Now they're saying if uh, this water gets much higher, it's going to start getting into the business district, and they cannot financially deal um, with more than a short period of flooding. So they're trying to get the water out of there as quick as they can. And uh, it's just with dead animals and debris, and you know, there's like 12 million people in this city. Uh, they're afraid uh, the disease is going to start ramping up, and uh, bad things are going to start to happen. And they got uh, France hit by storms in south, leaving three dead. And out of the Congo, um, I'm not going to slur the name of this volcano, but uh, if you remember, it went off last year. And nobody hardly noticed or took note. It's, it's erupting again. Uh, they're saying none of the villages are in harm's way uh, because the lava is going the other way down into a national forest. Uh, but they are advised on how to clean up after um, volcanic ash fallout, you know, washing and all of that. Um, so alerts are up on that. And they got another story. Intense rains that triggered floods in Italy may become more common. And again, that's the, the climate change or global warming thing happening. And over to the extinction protocol. They only got one story um, above and beyond that I wanted to cover. The unending misery in Somalia. Heavy rains displaced thousands living in shelters. Now check it out. Thousands of Somalis who fled famine, drought, and conflict now face the misery of heavy rains and flooding in the region. Now, the UN Refugee Agency said on Friday, thousands of displaced Somalians have been affected by heavy rains and flooding in parts of Somalia, Kenya, and Ethiopia. Uh, so out of the fire and into the water. And uh, of course they got the economic stuff going on in Europe, uh, how uh, Italy's um, uh, too inclined not to seek help. And uh, the dominoes are falling as planned. Over to the RSOE, uh, of course we have the, the volcano eruption in the Congo. Um, they're still dealing with the, the big landslides in Colombia. And of course, um, El Hero. Uh, extreme weather in the state of Alaska. If you're in Alaska watching this, be advised there is a severe life-threatening storm. Uh, they quoted saying, uh, on its way, heavy snowfall, winds, you know, the works. Uh, so you got a bad one coming, and uh, no mention of the nuclear um, part of that. So be advised, got a lot of a lot of weather coming. Anyway, forest fires in the state of Missouri. We got uh, it was the Mark Twain National Forest, and uh, they're saying they they shouldn't break the fire breaks they got down. They're going to send the extra firefighters home, kind of thing. Uh, tornadoes in southwest Oklahoma today. We got this big weather front rolling through. We are getting rain here in Des Moines. We're supposed to switch over to snow north of us, so hopefully we don't get any snow tonight. Uh, earthquake in the Philippines had a 5.0. Uh, damaged some buildings. Uh, they said like 10 people got injured. And uh, the weather in Nepal uh, with all those stranded trekkers that were going up Mount Everest. Uh, the weather's starting to lighten up a little bit, and they're starting to evacuate those people to the capital city. And that's about it on the climate change-wise. Now, we've got a lot going on um, on the nuclear issue, so we're going to go to Energy News right now. Uh, well, come here, Fred, Leah. 
Just in, Fukushima engineer reveals workers often keeled over while clearing radioactive rubble. Removed by ambulance, usually they returned. I got another story, Japan Times. It's of great concern that little has been disclosed about Fukushima workers. I got another one, rumors circulating via Twitter in Japan. Many more Fukushima workers dead than revealed. Bodies may be kept in a medical school. And, uh, French presidential candidate proposes massive cuts to nuclear energy, holds large lead in polls over Sarkozy. Of course, he's very unpopular. And, uh, Fukushima children not growing in weight, average increase down 75%. Doctor says, very unusual. Some gained only one pound in a year. And that's way below the average. And uh, Japan TV is now saying Tepco was a victim of a cyber attack in the past year. Now, I don't know if this has to do with the CIA Israeli um, superbug that went down and took down the, um, the Iranian uh, nuclear centrifuges and whatnot. But uh, so they're trying to pass the blame here, and here we go lawyers playing games. We got lawyers in control of this, and not people, not engineers. And, uh, of course, it goes on and on. Significant risk to cancer within five years after exposure to low-dose radiation. And, uh, oh, here's one. J Japan TV host diagnosed with acute lipnotic leukemia. He had been eating Fukush Fukushima produce on the show live, um, showing everybody that it was okay to do that. So, uh, again, the truth cannot stop leaking out of Fukushima. Uh, we have three major reactors melted down and uh, going China syndrome and, um, you know, all that that entails. So uh, buckle up. We're in this for a long time. Enjoy what you can. Thanks, everybody.